How's it going everyone? It's your boy Kov Plays FIFA. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the first episode of Club Secrets for EAFC 24. And this is going to be a good one because I remember last time guys I was telling you a few of the tips. From the first episode we managed to have our breakthrough video of what hit over 100,000 views. So again guys I'm going to be trying to give you as best information as possible in the quickest time as possible in the first part and again it's going to be going over some of the best run styles the best formations and also some of the settings which i do recommend you need to turn off and actually going to be telling you as well something about the high promotion setting which you also want to turn off because i do find that causes a lot of stutter now again guys for me the best play styles this year i'd say are actually going to have to be a new one technical plus and if you're not using maybe trickster plus as a winger that you're missing out on that lb dribble speed boost along with quick step plus this is if you're past that level 75 of course but this trickster plus is slept on because a lot of people don't uh, don't read the actual play styles all the time they just look at the symbols of it that was cool but i'll tell you what now guys if i actually slept on it for a little bit read it and i was like wow that's actually going to be an overpower mechanic to be able to lb uh, dribble faster than other opponents and also we found with the medalist run style, the T-Rex and the Buzz, they are going to be the three best at the moment for us so far. And a 4 triple two formation, a 4 three, two, one is also pretty good. 4 one, two, one, two, and I'd say for us primarily the 4 two, three, one, uh, wide or narrow, it doesn't really matter. For us, it's just the wide that seems to give us that better angles for the triangular passes. And you could say using, again, 60 depth, is a good way to go. Some people have been abusing the 71 depth, but you do lose stamina. So I do recommend us going for 60 depth if you're a high pressing team. We're around 45 width on both and four players in the box. So you don't have too many bots trying to get in there and score goals. Because they will you know, if you're playing any, trust me, you have your centre backs. If you have your boxer, uh, players in the box line at six, just flying in there. And I'd say that is something you do not want. And again, if you're a defensive team and you're struggling, maybe have conservative interceptions, stay back while attacking on your bots. And you don't play with an any as well. I recommend that absolutely because then you'll be giving away penalties or the bots will be sorry. And you don't want that because then the game's getting decided by EA and no one wants that. But I'll tell you what, for me, 40 depth as well is a very good way to go. Similar to last year, really, if you go too high on the depth, you will get punished because some people do go along with this like high press, overload ball side, but don't realise on pro clubs, you haven't got these players with exceptionally high stamina. And if you're all like playing 11s, it's probably going to be irrelevant anyway to try and use all that abusive tactic stuff because, again, most of the time you can play that nice football and enjoy it. So I wouldn't say that's needed, but I would say if you want to try the high press, try it out, but don't blame me if you get through ball absolutely all the time. So I would say between 40 and 60 depth is the best way to go. And again, guys, I'm going to be doing more parts to this. So if you want to see more tips like this and more secrets that we use, again, like turning on all the settings, again, making sure that you have your match settings. If you are getting bad matchmaking, I recommend if you're playing with an any, turn on these settings like you see here, because that will give you some help as well. And also turning off the uh, hyper motion because it stops the stuttering. And that will definitely give you some better performances in the game. I did notice as well, if you just turn off a lot of the actual like hood settings, which are unnecessary, they just seem to speed up the game. So that is kind of a little secret there. A lot of people don't know. Same as when you leave clubs. You'll still have the stats if you do go back to the club. If you have a friend who's a manager or have an alt account in there. Say, for instance, you're a competitive player. That will definitely matter. But again, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more, just remember to subscribe. Leave a like and comment. And even if you want to share this, that would definitely help. Get this out there. Let some people know about some of these bugs. What are in the game. Because again, that high promotion visual thing and the playstyle thing, it definitely made a difference when I turned them off.